we have just seen a wonderful bounce on Bitcoin from this big important monthly level of support, which actually had three major levels of confluence, which I will be talking you through in this video, what we are looking for next. So what are the upcoming next big trade setups that we have? What is the reason of some of this wonderful volatility? It's very nice indeed when you know what you're doing lots of profits to be made and i'll be preparing you for those next upcoming trade setups with the volatility in mind as we approach the weekend and the start of next week so this video will be focused on really the next four to five days of price action so yeah i hope that you can learn a lot from it get ready with me as we once again go to make some epic profits first of all the volatility that we're seeing why is this and why are we expecting it to continue a few reasons of course we have a big election in the u.s coming up next month which is a factor to bear in mind but more locally here we have the world series of trading we were there from the first minute it started yesterday looking for those trades to here today this competition is a few weeks long this is the biggest trading competition in the world you've got the best traders the biggest teams coming together to compete for that biggest ever prize pool for cryptocurrency trading it's a wonderful competition chart champions are holding themselves up high we're going for that win i want to talk you through the competition the tactics tactics that we're using, the trades that we're looking for. I have some alpha to share with you of how we chart champions together can get this trophy. And uh, yeah, of course, that includes some really wonderful trade setups that I want to be talking you through in this video. So yeah, first of all, yeah, massively, right? The World Series of Trading from the first minute yesterday, I had an overall idea in mind yesterday, and that was I wanted to see a drop. Ideally, I wanted to see a rise first to the daily naked point of control and then drop. Why? Because I knew, I, I wanted you to listen carefully because this is important. I had the bearish bias. I really felt Bitcoin is going to take out once again $60,000. We had this important next level below us if you remember the cme previously never took out sixty thousand dollars actually bottomed at sixty thousand one hundred and thirty so we had a few factors um that really led to giving us this strong bearish bias so i knew bitcoin was going to drop it's just you know my ideal scenario was first come up to an area where i can take the short trade and then drop in the end it just you know fell down flat didn't have the strength to even hit the daily naked point of control fell down very quickly to that monthly level and at this monthly level i want to explain why this was such a big level of support and we've actually been waiting for this since the start of the month so over a, a week now we have been waiting for this big monthly why because we had the very nice point of control and anchored view app right on top of this monthly so that's the level that we had been ready and waiting for as our next you know really important level i will show you visually so you can actually visualize this of how we recognize this support so first of all let's just hide these naked point of controls so that is the monthly fifty-eight thousand nine hundred and fifty-four dollars 58,954 as you can see this was back on the 3rd of October you know recognized well obviously recognized it prior to this but really exp you know explaining the, the importance of this level I want to show you a few other confluence factors that were massively important we're going to take the uptrend fixed range you can see we also had the point of control there so that's the monthly the point of control, two big levels, and let's add in a third. Sugar icing on the cake, as they say, right? The anchored view app of the uptrend, bam, that's number three. Three big confluence factors, monthly, point of control of the range of the uptrend, and the anchored view app. That coming together is a wonderful support level. And as you can actually see, the reaction was you know, nothing short of, of perfect there. And you got a large wick to the downside here on the four hour chart, reaction, and then continuation to the upside on the lower term time frame even here on the one hour still a lovely wick to the downside so what are we going to be looking for next well it's pointing towards continuation still there's a few levels to bear in mind very very close by that will simply be yesterday's high yesterday's high is always going to be a relevant level always you want to be looking at yesterday's uh, high yesterday's low you know these are important levels to be aware of so directly above us we got you know yesterday's high <laughs> that comes in at sixty one thousand two hundred and forty one dollars 
and then have a guess we've still got the same level above us this uh daily naked point of control which is now going to be closer even more to the downtrend anchored view app that's now slightly prior to it yesterday of course we were looking at that around 62 today we're looking at around 61 600 so we got the downtrend of the anchored view app to be aware of on that daily naked point of control and again i show you the importance of these uptrend view apps and downtrend view apps <laughs> you know you can see the importance that they play they're actually acting as really nice support resistance levels was originally support support flipped into resistance back into support and this would of course of this downtrend here locally be the first tap of this one and then when we look at the overall downtrend we'd be moving into the second tap of this so that comes in at 62 you know that's basically 62,300. So that would be, in my opinion, the next uh, zone of resistance above us. But I actually want to share something with you and that is really related to the world series of trading so i want to talk you through a little bit of the uh how to win this competition essentially how we can do well and i really feel that the focus is on altcoins so yeah bitcoin you know i, I can't complain this is nice volatility but when we're talking about percentage you know this looks like a really big move it's still only falling at three percent and this is a big move for bitcoin recently like three percent you're, you're very content with that that's a big move for recent times so how can we do even better in the competition? Yes, of course, we can be aware of these Bitcoin trades and reactions, but altcoins honestly are where it's at right now. Altcoins are how we can actually excel in this competition, because instead of getting the 3% move, we could be looking for moves such as 30%, such as what we saw yesterday. And I want to talk you through this very briefly. But I want to share with you uh, something from, okay, this was obviously from the daily morning update yesterday. So I've done a few different live streams yesterday. You can see the importance I was highlighting yesterday to the champion members of that monthly level, which of course we bounced off in the end. And that's all well and good, right? Bitcoin, you can make profits. But where we made the most profits were on the altcoins. I shared lots of different trade setups yesterday and they've all played out. Silly against USDT, Bendog, I shared a Popcat trade. Uh, we also had a C trade. Uh, we looked at lots of different altcoins and they actually all played out very nicely indeed. We were looking at Solana. You know, I went through a lot of different altcoins, uh, Phantom, more that I can't remember off the top of my head. But I want to show you this, which is the trade that helped me and Chart Champions get into currently seventh place in the world after only the first day of the World Series of Trading with myself actually currently second in the team with an 80% account gain. Yesterday, I started the day with this trading account with $10,000. I actually ended it with, well, ended it now <laughs> as we speak with $18,000 in the account. So I made over $8,000 overall with an 80% increase after today's trades. You know, that's what we're doing here. And I want to show you this trade because you can get into my brain here of how I was thinking and really mimic this. I want to just show you, this is just one minute. Just listen carefully, please. It, it will help you. So this is yesterday from the altcoin trading update. So this coin is currently breaking out uh, above this anchored view at I pulled. We're above now, D. Downtrend anchored view at. Um, into value area high, into daily. I'm going to pull the trigger on this. Uh, I'm going to short it. Let me load up the account. Let's go, city. Maybe city coin going to give us me my first trade here. So let's go. Um, yeah, into value area high, into anchored view app. No one, no one short this. Let me take my trade first, please. <laughs> anyway, I ended up taking these short trades, but you can just see what I wanted to really emphasize here is the. The confidence shown, first of all, silly coin, never heard of it, you know, you know, was recommended by a member. And this is the beauty of the community. Obviously, it was in the end one of the highest pumping coins. You can actually see here, if you look carefully, at the time, 96%. So basically 100% up on the day. A coin that is pumping 100%. You can see, I looked at that coin for, what, 30 seconds? I'd done my analysis and I made with confidence the decision, I'm going to short this coin. It will be my first trade in the World Series of Trading to the champion members live in the time. You know, 30 seconds looking at a coin that's pumped 100%, but I've recognized we're into the value area high, we're into the daily. I'm taking that short trade. I took the short trade that helped me with my gain of 80% in one day, $10,000 to $18,000 in one day 
of trading. And C was a big factor of this. I want to show you this as you see it now. Look at that. From what we were looking at live in the time as it was up 100% to hitting and rejecting from that daily on the value area high, ending with even a lower term time frame swing failure pattern. And you can actually see from the high to the low, we had a retracement of 30%. I ended up entering that coin with uh, four times leverage. So I took my trade with my limit orders and, you know, four times leverage that coin uh, to make those epic 80% profits on my account. But you can understand there. I just wanted to show you that because of the importance of, first of all, you look for shorts when things are pumping hard. That is the best time to get into shorts, right? You do not look for shorts when you're down at the bottom, okay? And you do not longs when you're up at the top. You look for you look for your shorts when you're up at the highs. You look for your longs when you're down at the lows, right? You, you have to flip on that psychology because most people up here are longing in FOMO and they're getting liquidated down here when we're actually shorting the highs, taking profits at the lows. I fully closed out of that short absolutely uh, towards the lows as Bitcoin was hitting the monthly level. I recognize Bitcoin is a big decisive factor anyway of why I was comfortable shorting up here on Silicoin. And as Bitcoin was hitting the monthly, I recognize that's an important support and that's why I was locking in my profits down at the lows. So I'm fully out of that trade uh, for one day of trades, 80% gain on the day. And of course, we're going to keep on going. Uh, we also locked in some nice trades on PopCat. I can show you some of the posts in the group, actually. We locked in some nice trades on PopCat. Okay, so PopCat, we ended up shorting, ended up out of that trade now, but we took a nice take profit at the lows. Uh, we were on Bencoin, we were on C. Um, but you can see like each step of the way, I was talking through my team exactly what we were looking for, um, you know, trying my best to get us up on the leaderboards. And it's just a simple process and, you know, just showing you how it's done. I think why I'm so happy about this competition, because a lot of people always talking, and I'm telling you this, so listen, I mean it, there's so many fake traders, so many scammers, they talk the talk, but when it comes to walking the walk, guess what, they're not in these competitions, they're not trading, they're not being transparent with overall PNL. Anyone can post a screenshot of 5% gains, uh, you know, I mean it, there is so much complexity to the scammers out there. But when it comes to simply joining a public trading competition, when it comes to showing, hey, show me the past six months of your PL, they're not doing it, they're not transparent, they're not honest, and they are actually real big scammers faking results. Essentially, people that cannot trade want to teach you how to trade. Uh, it's it's extremely bad. And what I love about these competitions, what I love about being honest and transparent, showing you, you saw, all saw my win streak that I'm on. I'm still on that same 100% win rate. And I've showed you every trade taken, all the hit, hit history of the PL, right? No one, and I've challenged people before, someone else do this. No one else is doing it because they're scared. They know they can't do it. It's as simple as that. You know, there's just so much fake traders. And guess what? I love this competition because this is a plain, simple uh, trading competition. 80% on the day. Chart champions ourselves are seventh in the world. When you actually look at the regions, uh, we are the top speaking English team. The only teams above us are the Koreans. Surprise, surprise. We've got a Russian team and the Koreans above us. It's going to be extremely hard. I've talked about this before to beat the Koreans. Uh, so... Of course, I would love it, but I recognize Koreans are on another level when it comes to these trading competitions. But we as chart champions can hold ourselves up high to be currently first place in the English speaking teams and myself personally to be on that 80% account gain so far. And of course, we're going for more. But again, if you want to be the best, you've got to learn from the best. And chart champions, we are very transparent with our results, with our history of trades, with our live trading, showing it on stream. And again, if you want to get in on the next altcoin call, yesterday we made a 100% trade day. If you want to get in the next setups, as soon as I find a setup, I will be going live for the champion members to share it with them so we can continue this streak that we're in as a team a community, chart champions family, seventh in the world. We're going for more. And everybody here right now is doing very well indeed. Very proud to be part of this team. So what are we looking at next then? A little bit of alpha that I can give you in terms of altcoins. Well, first of all, I will summarize Bitcoin. Summarize of Bitcoin, we got the daily, yesterday's daily high to be aware of. Not a major level, but nevertheless, it's a level that you should be aware of, right? It's, it is a 
major level for day traders for myself as a more of a swing trader not so major moving up towards that 62 daily naked point of control this will be what i would class as the b a massive line in the sand because that has been our big support flipped into a little bit of resistance support here if we come up and we reject that level of course we can look for another at least retest of the lows so what i would do is at least pull the cc fibonacci from low to high and at least look for the retest and if you lose that retest then yeah we make new lows but what's so important as this is the same as i was explaining yesterday you either get that rejection or if we actually go up and flip this into support so that means getting above 62k flipping it into support then we would look for this once more to have maintained it as support and we can look for another bigger rally to the upside so honestly i feel on bitcoin this is a major zone to be aware of first of all it is resistance but if we can maintain it and flip it back into support it is a nice very nice spring actually for further upside continuation so then you want to get into the mode of following then that nice uptrend with a big support level hit reaction shown and then the sign of strength for me will be flipping 62k back into support again you can be aware of that point of control of this mini range coming in at around 62100 right so if we look at the downtrend this is another pool that i like to do uh that downtrend yeah we're that point of control has already shifted down so we really really need to try and get above 62500 and that would for me be massive signs of strength above the uh downtrend value area high back above that point of control of the range back above the um naked point of control here and back into this big support resistance flip so that's what i'm saying is that for myself a big sign of strength and so while i'm looking at bitcoin i am more interested in these altcoin trades then we've got a few really nice trades coming up soon uh ben dog i'm still looking at uh ben dog i'm looking for it to take the highs here above uh zero, basically zero dot uh, one seven so ben dog is one that i'm looking at to take the highs uh so you can of course have your alert set on this if you haven't already uh, i'd be waiting for ben dog to take those highs on silly i'm not in this one anymore but i would like to see uh of course we rallied again up last night and we simply rejected from the point of control okay so if you actually would have looked at that in the time you can see this high was at the point of control now that point of control shifted down uh but this is more of a range bound asset i will be looking to get into this a little bit later and you can simply view it as a range so we'll look for longs at range low shorts at range high okay you can see how this is range low range low middle of the channel really well respected and top of the channel you know pretty simple stuff right uh i was also really interested in uh la, 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 la. pop cat but that setup has now passed pepe was another interesting one as we come up into the point of control and the downtrend anchored vwap so this for me is one that's going to be dependent on bitcoin i am looking to short pepe but i would like to see bitcoin get that key reaction because i feel pepe is one of these coins which can rally hard and it's very much going to be tied to Bitcoin here. If Bitcoin gets the reclaim of uh, 62, I do think then, yeah, I'm not going to take the short on Pepe. It can rally hard. But if Bitcoin rallies up into 62, gets the rejection, and we're looking for the strong pullback, this is going to be a really nice short trade, I feel, on Pepe. So I'm really much, I'm, I'm really waiting for that Pepe alert and Bitcoin to go off simultaneously. And this was the setup that we were looking at yesterday on C. Uh, this was... Uh, you know pretty wonderful you can see the uh we were looking at this to hold another higher low and we were also looking for it to come into the point of control and you can just see here the point of control look at that look at that reaction at the point of control uh it obviously held the higher low so we held the higher low we come into the point of control i can even try and show you this as i was showing it live in the time yesterday so uh if i look here do, 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 we were looking at c coin let me just try and find it here it's under the unified trade do, 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 do. Again, had a trade this is like, just to just to show you more that what we are planning what we're like looking at and how those plans come to fruition oh yeah we were looking at reef coin turbo coin i didn't trade turbo in the end i should have in hindsight but there you go there is me lining up this plan yesterday on c coin so we we were looking for it to come down hold the higher low bounce off the point of control and make new highs and then you can see from the plans how it plays out like 
things went very nicely, but you can probably tell that because we are seventh in the world right now, people making a lot of gains. So, uh, I mean, let's just take a look at the money shots. Uh, you know, talk about talk about people doing well, right? Trade the plan. <laughs> <laughs> try and trade the plan plan the trade but each step of the way people making lovely profits yesterday as well i saw on uh from the live stream you know very nice indeed but anyway i want to stop going on about that uh i hope that i've helped you with this video in terms of bringing your attention to the world series of trading the importance of it the added volatility that we're given okay on top of that why yes Bitcoin's offering some trades and, you know, there's profits to be had. I'm personally more focused on the altcoins and these are quick day trades. I'm looking to get in, get out, take my profits, right? Not hold them forever. So if you're interested in those live in the time live streams, looking at the day trade setups, nice trades, nice profits to be had. And again, the next time I find it, I'm going to go live for the champion members. If you're interested in that, okay, I will say this, this is... Uh, a very nice time to be a champion member but on top of it of course we got the live streams we got the live trading but you have to remember we are helping you with all the education along the way and i will say this by the way of course when i'm talking through these trades it's not financial advice at the end of the day you've got your money on the line your trades are on the line i'm just giving you you know my perspectives my opinions but from a non-financial perspective non-financial advice perspective i'm just here as a trader talking about my opinions on the market uh, to educate you and, of course, entertain you as we smash the World Series of Trading. Uh, very content with my gains, very content with our team position. And uh, let's see if we can get above some of these Koreans next. It will be hard, but w nothing is impossible, champs. I believe in us. Let's go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed uh, <laughs> the profits that we're printing for everybody. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you want to see me sooner, you know you can get me via chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you over in the membership. Cheers, everybody. Have a good day, and goodbye.